We hustle daily. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. As you just seen, we just won that um, Monte Carlo. They um, counterbidded me, so I have to give them a little bit more money. But we did just win that 2004 Monte Carlo. Make sure y'all check out the walk around um, of the uh, the thumbnail. Should be the um, the like greenish color Camaro. So make sure y'all check that video out when we actually did the walk around to check out that Monte Carlo, 2004 Monte Carlo. I think it got like 200 and some thousand miles, 232 or something like that. But I just got that boy for a super cheap, cheap price, guys. So we about to go pick that boy up uh, myself. And then, um, you know what I'm saying? Then we're going to go back and uh, we're going to have to leave this car, pick up the car, then drive back. We're going to have to do a lot of stuff, man. But Y'all gonna follow me on the journey, man. I greatly appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, man, if y'all haven't done so already. You know what I mean? Stream Bean. Uh, make sure y'all follow your boy on the Instagram, wehustledaily.co. Um, I just cranked this car up, so it's, you know what I'm saying? We about to go get this car right now. I was gonna go somewhere else today, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and handle this first, man. And most importantly, man, y'all need to go to whdacademy.com because I'm gonna show y'all how to pick out cars at the auction or you know what i mean uh, uh private parties you know what i'm saying now a lot of y'all may be looking at this Monte Carlo like damn that that thing got two hundred and four thousand miles on it he ain't about to make no money off that man listen go to whdacademy.com y'all be going to the auctions and y'all getting lemons you know what i'm saying so y'all don't need to be saying nothing about me you know what i'm saying i'm about to drive this car 2004 Monte Carlo i'm about to be whipping this thing trust me it did have a check engine light and all that but man listen if y'all want to learn how to check out cars and private party sales and all that make sure y'all go to whdacademy.com man it ain't no game man because you might end up on the side of the road because you ain't know what you was doing all right hustle nation and we are at the auction picking up the money color here we go they coming with it right now y'all see it man bring that thing on out to your boy yes sir y'all see it man Bad. Appreciate it. Y'all see it, man. So we got the Monte Carlo, man. Y'all see the tires on that thing. Stop playing with me. We got the white car uh, at the bottom of the hill. That man, you know which way he wanted to go. Almost ran your boy over. But yeah, man, y'all see it, Monte Carlo, man. Give y'all this quick walk around of this thing, real quick. Run and drive. The body look good. I ain't even gotta wash this joint. I gotta throw some tire shine on this joint. I'll be good. What y'all think? Okay, we got some screws. That's good. Come on, put that on. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you need them. Word. Okay. Word, word. Appreciate you, boss. All right, man. So y'all see it, man. Got the dark tin on here. Let me show y'all. Hold on. Before I show y'all the inside, we got some goodies now. Huh? Even if you're buying out of state. Okay. I'm you can still, okay, okay. Mississippi, Alabama, Savannah, Florida. I'm all over the place. Word, word. It's three of us. Okay, I bet. Appreciate you, boss. What the hell? Hold up. This thing worked yesterday. Hold up. Oh, okay. It did pop. Yes, sir. We got some beat in the trunk, man. Y'all see it. We got some beat in the trunk. Two look like 12s. We got an amp. Y'all already know all this is coming out. All this is staying with me. I don't have anywhere to put this right now, but even though we got two different things, who cares? We got some, damn. We got some new brakes. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if the car is going to need these. Hopefully it don't. Hopefully I ain't really got to put them on, but if I do, then, you know, boom. And then this is just trash. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, well, no, nah, let's I was about to crank it up, but let me check the oil and all that first. Oh, the hood popped already. There we go. All right. But y'all see the interior, man. Nice and clean looking. Well, not nice and clean. It, the, the season's not really like dirty. They was just kind of like nasty. As you can see, they got cigarette buzz and quick vacuum you know but like at least the middle console all ain't all disgusting type and all of that you know good little vacuum good little get in between the corners and all that um yeah. no 
okay see good little vacuum and everything this car was in pretty good condition man so let's go ahead and uh see if we can crank this thing up right now because if we got some oil now i did check that so i know we got coolant because i checked that yesterday and it do have let me see i don't have a uh a rag so i just blew It does need a little oil, so uh, we are in the notch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the car and we're gonna uh, put some oil in this thing, man. So first crank up, hopefully cranks up. I think it need a better jump though, honestly. Yep. So oh man, I gotta go and get. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta go and get some um, the jump box and. Um, some oil and be right back all right we back so i'm gonna set the camera right here so i can um put this oil and stuff in got rid of the mask 10w40 y'all know i put that in all my cars i don't be caring even though it say take 5w20 i just like and this car got 200,000 miles on it. It's a 5W30. I'm using 10W30. This car got 200,000 miles on it. So, a little thick of oil ain't going to hurt it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's see if we can get this thing to go. Let's see if we can get this thing to go. Let's see what we got, man. Oh. Crank right up, two hundred thousand. I seen the radio just pop up a little bit. Oh, we probably about to beat down the block. The radio didn't work yesterday. It's kind of. Oh yeah, we about to be beating down the block. Minute, so let's change oil. We're gonna take the oil when I get down the hill, man. Turn that off. Y'all see it, man, we crank right up. We actually use this paper to chip oil. Nah, cause I just cranked the damn car up, so. I don't wanna turn it back off. What y'all think though? How y'all think it sounds? Sound good or what? Y'all let me know. 200,000 miles. We might need this, so I'm gonna keep this with me. Y'all want one of these jump boxes, make sure y'all check the link in the description below too. I got the link for y'all. You got the air compressor on it, dirty. Man, this car, it's not as dirty as I thought, man. Like. Shit, I might ride this for, for a little minute. I got some beat in the trunk. Like I told y'all, y'all know that beat coming straight out the trunk. I got some window tint. You know what I mean? Let me use this to cut this off real quick. Oh, man. We're going to cut this off, y'all. My bad. The camera moving everywhere. There we go. Cut that right off like that. Put this oil 
the stuff in the car. Still revving kind of high, ain't it? And this car did have a, um, like they painted that. This car did have a, uh, call that emissions code, uh, evap code. This car came from Mississippi according to the title. So, actually, let me get that piece of paper. I can wrap this thing up here. Take it down the hill, man. What? Y'all see it, man. We about to take this thing down the hill, man. About to, uh, got to put my license plate on and all of that. And, uh, I'll see you guys when I, uh, hit the road, man. But right now, I'm about to just pull it down the hill and you see the idling. It went down. Matter of fact, we just go down the hill together. Let me see. What's up, Hustle Nation? This video has been sponsored to you by WHDAcademy.com, the online course that's going to teach you everything you need to know about the auction game, all my tips on how to properly inspect cars, and most importantly, how to make money. As you can see, I've been doing this for a while, and as you can also see, I have plenty of testimonials on how I've helped others gain success in this business. So if you're interested in learning, be sure to click the link in the description below. why i like look man that's why i like buying these cheap cars yo for real y'all think it's a game this car is riding smooth but well, we ain't got it on the road yet but it's riding smooth for you know what it is right now so let me park this real quick and then uh we're gonna get on the road for real for real all right y'all say bye to the that white thing man let put my jacket on hold on me Raise his seat back a little bit. Let me get right now. Let me get right. Let me get right. All right, y'all. We heading on the road, man. First drive. Wait till we get down this hill all the way. Let me fix this camera a little bit right there. Oh, man. Camera going everywhere. Let's see how this thing shift, guys. What y'all think? 200,000 miles. Y'all think, ooh, I cannot get straight in this Monte Carlo. Like, does it seat go up or something? I feel like I'm low to the ground type. I don't know. Maybe it's the steering wheel or something, man. Let me see. Put that down. Do something. Do something. Y'all ready for this, man? So it look like we need some gas, though. All right, here we go. Should we? Nah, we're going to wait. But yeah, man, y'all see it, man. Y'all see if that beat work, too. Hold on, now. Let me see. Damn, it's a lot of cars. But yeah, man, um, we about to see what this thing do, man. Y'all, what y'all think, man? I don't know. I think it's going to be good, man. I think this is a good car, bro. For real, 200,000 miles and all. And y'all see it, man, 235,000. Come on, man. Jeez, Louise. Last one, y'all, last one. Here we go, man. Y'all wish me luck. Oh yeah, I gotta show y'all that thing too, hold up. Okay, shift on them. Shift on them. Okay, another one. Like Khaled say. Man, get, what the hell is this? Get this off my uh, thing. Get this off me. Foot the wrong way. Yo, this joint riding, y'all see it. Damn, that speedometer do not work. Gas in this joint or not? This joint riding though, I know that much. Break, 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 breaks. Um, I don't know if it's gas in this car though. What y'all think? I'm gonna keep rolling, man. I'm gonna keep rolling. But let me show y'all, uh, dude, man. Y'all, if y'all want to get y'all, uh, there y'all go. If y'all want to get y'all coat, y'all car, 
uh, you know, transport it or whatever the case may be. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I'm not gonna be using that. You can be, you can get your car transported or you can go to whdacademy.com and you can be driving yourself, you know what I'm saying? But if y'all need, you know what I'm saying, somebody to uh, transport y'all cars, dude that who just walked up to me, I was too focused on the car, but shout out to him doing his thing, man. But uh, yeah, man, whdacademy.com. I'm driving all my cars home, buddy. I don't buy nothing sight unseen, but y'all tell them Big Play Ray sent you. But uh, yeah, man, we riding though. I ain't got no complaints so far. This boy riding. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We got some beat in the trunk. You know, it feels good. I got this boy super cheap price. This, this boy came from Mississippi. Mississippi. So, uh, man, this thing riding. I might even ride this home tonight. For real, for real. I got the dark tent. You know what I'm saying? I got the beat in the trunk. Y'all heard it. And, uh, yeah, man, whdacademy.com. I told y'all, y'all can say what y'all want to say about me buying this and buying that in the third, but look, no. Yeah. That's right. Now, am I going to fix this and all of that? Am I going to put the brakes on and stuff? I don't know. It depends on if it's like really squeaking or something like that. If not, they could just come with the car. You know what I'm saying? I like flipping money, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I buy and sell. I flip money really quick and I keep it moving. I'm not really into all of that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Motors, transmissions, man. With that thing riding and that thing riding. I don't want to hit nothing else. Look. Especially for the prices I be giving y'all to this stuff for. Okay, it look like it's struggling. It want to work a little bit. Man, this car ride good, bro. make sell that sell that for like a hundred dollars or seventy five dollars or something like that well i just keep it it ain't really bothering me i don't really got no car to put it in right now uh that is not going into the white impala no 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 i got too much stuff in the white impala if y'all know how your boy big play ray ride y'all already know what's in that impala a whole bunch of stuff but uh i wonder if bruce got the vacuum and all that we probably can stop by bruce crib real quick yeah let me get right back with y'all i might stop by bruce crib Instead of stopping by my mom's crib, that's probably what I'll end up doing. Because, uh, oh, I just realized what I left in my freaking car. Damn, son. We actually might have to go back and get that. I left the freaking scanner, man, to see if this boy's going to pass emission. So, damn, that's all in that car, too. So, yeah, we probably going to go to Bruce's house. I'll catch y'all when we get there. All right, y'all, we have to stop at the gas station. We're not going to go to Bruce's house first, but y'all can hear I got the radio working. I mean, the uh, subwoofer. I got them subwoofers working, man, but we're about to get some gas in this thing, man. Oh, snap, we got the Bentley truck over there. Okay, I see it, man. But yeah, man, um, so far, so good. Uh, about to go on and get some gas for this joint. Um, it rides good. We got to look all okay, so the brakes. Let me back it up just a little bit. I'm trying to see if. Hold up, let's look on the other side too, real quick. Damn, it's windy as hell out here. Yeah, man, they really do need the brakes, so I actually might put the brakes on, slap them on, since they came with the car, you know what I'm saying? That's actually what I might do, but I don't know yet, y'all. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna see that, but y'all know me, I try to do as less. The least work as possible, man. I just want to flip my money, but let me go and put some gas in this thing real quick, and I'll be right back with y'all. All right, man. Y'all see it? Nothing more, nothing less, man. Nothing more, nothing less. So, let's go and crank this thing up. Cranks right up. Damn, is it cranked up? Yeah, the RPMs is up. So, yeah, it's cranked. Boy, it's cranked right up. Um, we're gonna go by Bruce's house later because um, I need to actually. Uh, I'm gonna clean the car up first, man. But check out the uh, Bentley. Y'all see him, man? Y'all see it? Boy, looking right. Boy, looking right. But yeah, man. Uh, got that Bentley. 
and take a look at right. Yeah, man, this car is driving really, really good, y'all. No complaints so far. We actually may put them brakes on since they got them. I don't know. I got to see if them are the right brakes, man. Maybe I should go up to AutoZone real quick before I get to taking tires off and stuff to make, it, you know, to make sure that... Uh, that them are the right brakes so i could just sell it like this i mean it ain't squeaking or nothing but you know i don't want to be driving a car and it do start squeaking so that's why i'm like man i don't even know if i should uh um then i don't even know if this car is gonna pass emissions just yet or none of that uh, i need one more uh of these monitors to go away you don't know what i'm talking about and you ain't went to whdacademy.com you know what i'm saying that's your problem right there but I'm gonna go in and clean this thing up, man. I'm gonna go back, go to my mom's crib so I can use they, um, they, uh, well, my vacuum. And uh, yeah, man, we gonna go by Bruce's house, see what he got today. And I might even take this over there to Bruce's house. And then I still need to go get the white car, man. Mom's gotta help me out, mom. Where you at, mama? Alrighty, Hustle Nation, man. So we gotta just take some of this trash out. I don't got my tripod with me, so that sucks. So I'm gonna have to just, you know, vacuum this stuff. And um, we got the book, let's see. Damn, the whole joint dropped down, didn't it? I'm gonna put the book in there. And uh, this is my mask. let's see. So we gotta vacuum all of that. And we're gonna be good to go. And let's see what we got in the trunk. So y'all know we beating down the block. Know what I'm saying so take all of this, throw all of this away. I don't got my gloves, I got everything in the freaking white car, literally. Um, but it's all good, so we're just gonna throw this stuff in here. It's windy as hell, and uh, yeah, get the vacuum in this. So these can stay in here, these can stay in here. This amp and stuff and everything can stay in here right now. What is this? Nothing. Some type of LED bar or something. I don't know. So yeah, man. So that can stay in there. So let's go ahead and get this thing vacuumed up, man. We got this thing all ready to rock and roll. So let me get through this real quick. I gotta get this stuff off the windshield and all of that. And uh yeah, we can get right into it. And if you want that, that's in a link in the description below that scanner right there, so. Get all this vacuumed up, man. y'all we in my little spot that i like to come and take this video has been sponsored to you by auto a stat now auto a stat is a tool that i use to help me find out if cars were staged in copart for example this 2021 cadillac ct5 was sold for twenty four thousand eight hundred dollars but if you go down you can actually see more information about the car you can see that it was vandalized that's why it's here the car starts and everything but if you go all the way down to the sales history you can see that the car was also sold in 2021 and you can find out more information about it it was uh, sold by the insurance company state farm but if you click it you can also see that the car had another lot number that sold for twenty thousand if you look at the photos here you can also see that this car 
actual damage was right here on the side there. So that means that someone bought the car, fixed the doors, and then resold it back in Copart for $24,800. And they actually did the writing themselves. So they were the ones who vandalized the car. This website can also be used if you want to know how much I bought my cars for because I never really tell you guys how much I pay for cars so you can also find how much I pay for cars and if something is fishy going on with the car so if you are interested my link is in the description below make sure you sign up with my referral link and lastly this website can also be used for Copart and IAA so here's the Copart website all you would have to do is copy the lot number or the VIN number or you can go to IAA and also just copy the lot number so here's the lot number here and all you would do is set it up top and there you go so it works for IA and Copart and lastly there is a monthly subscription I personally use the pro package which is $49.95 but you can also get the personal um, package which is $19.95 you can look up cars in the last two years and with the pro package you can look up cars in the last four years but when I tell you guys it is worth it it is really worth it it has helped me save a lot of money pictures and stuff at so let's uh show y'all what we got man show y'all that i cleaned this guy up place these windows down just because they try to lock me out but i didn't wash it or nothing but we're gonna take a look around it, around it real quick before we get in the car show y'all how good it looked how good i cleaned this thing up y'all see it man they took care of this little uh marnie carlo what the hell y'all looking at they took care of this marnie carlo man I'll see it. Can't wait to take my beat out the trunk. I ain't gonna take it out yet because you know uh I want to beat down the block a little bit. Um the check engine light did come back on. I cleared it for that evap code, so it's probably the canister under there. Um so probably not gonna be changed uh passing emissions. Cause that code did come back on, man. But y'all see it, y'all see how clean it look? Y'all know that thing clean, man. Stop playing, man. Stop playing. I cleaned up the little thing, center console and everything. Got some electrical tape. So when I take my subwoofers out, I can, uh... Oh, yeah, and I got to show y'all something else, too. When I take my subwoofers out, I can just put some electrical tape around there. I don't need the wires and all of that. I could take the wires out. Still don't know what we're going to do about the brakes, but we about to head to Bruce crib, man. See what Bruce got going on. Um, So this, this is not closing because they put the power wire through here which is tacky so honestly y'all y'all probably gonna be mad at me but it is what it is you see see the wire right here like i'm probably gonna like cut the wire and like put this back down the way it's supposed to be and yeah so they should have ran the wire through the bottom of the uh up under the bottom i got a video from a long time ago of my very first car malibu y'all can check that video out um Hopefully, if I remember, I'll put it in the link in the descri description below. But you got to actually run the power wire up under here. It's like a boot. You know what I mean? But, you know, people doing it they doing it their way. They just want to get it done. But it's, not, it's actually not hard either. But like I say, I got a video on that. So if y'all want to check that video out, y'all can uh, check that out. But, um, yeah, man, I'm about to beat down the block real quick. We about to go over Bruce Crib. Uh, I still need to go back to the auction and get the title because I forgot the title. So, yeah, man, I'm about oh got to take the picture so yeah i'll take the picture somewhere else so yeah man i'll see y'all when we get to bruce crib oh and that's right i forgot to let y'all hear how the beat sound hold on let me see hold on y'all a little bit it's beating a little bit it's beating a little bit y'all see it man all right we over here man over here at the bruce crib man y'all remember the subaru don't y'all look at the subi like the subi looking extra fantastic like look at the floor what well, she had a machine or something yeah man we got some equipment got some equipment boy this thing shining yeah that thing is shining man no sir it's smelling good up in there and everything mm-hmm I see look like she put a little shine on the little on the on the on the switches for real? Yeah. What'd you think about the Monte Carlo? Check the Monte Carlo out. You ain't checked it out yet. Hold on. Yeah, Make sure y'all follow my boy, man. Instagram, Facebook, 
I mean, Instagram, YouTube, Phantom Mobiles, man. We got some new headlights. He one yeah, brought that sure. to my attention. This one, got a little slight tint on them, probably. Yeah, them things look. Good tires. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, check the trunk out now. We beating down the block. You heard oh, me. Yeah, you right. heard me when I pulled up. You heard me when I pulled up. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh -huh, they mismatched, but yo, yeah, they mismatched, though. That mud hitting. I heard you ain't pulled up. Mm-hmm. I'm taking all that shit out. <laughs> That's what I was about to say, yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm taking all that out, oh, bro. Oh, keep this. Put this in the, uh, in the Impala, boy. But you know I be I got so much <laughs> shit in the Impala, so I can't keep it in the Impala. But yeah, um... It make room for it. <laughs> yeah. Now, if I give me a truck or something, then I'm gonna, uh... Then I'm gonna, um... You know what I'm saying? I'll put it in the Impala. Yeah. But for right now, you know what I'm saying? We're going to ride. So I'm about to do it probably in a little bit. I have enough time. What's that? I'm about to put some in that Subaru. Oh, on a Subaru? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a little something trying to do in there. But, uh, yeah. Dang, you got the head unit. Yeah. Oh, what you want for this? <laughs> oh, you like that one? Yeah, I just need one. Oh, oh you don't got one at all? Nuh uh. I think I might have some. I got to see. Actually, I'm about to take one out that Audi, is what I'm about to do. But, shoot. Yeah, I'm looking for one. Oh, I hate to have to do But hey, shit, this mud probably ain't gonna pass the It got that famous EVAP code, though. Yeah. Uh, EVAP? Yeah, like EVAP uh, circulation or something like that, it say. Sometimes you can get those to pass, man. I know. This boy coming back on quick. I know. Uh, it's coming back on quick, man. I mean, it ain't quick, but it ain't, you know, this an 04, so. So you're gonna sell it down in Mission? Probably. But other than that, it ride good. It, it came with some brakes in the back. I don't know. You think I should change them? They low, though. Yeah, they kind of low. I mean, you know. I don't got to as long as I don't drive it. You know, I can just give it with the customer, you know. That's what I would probably do if you don't feel like doing it. I mean, I don't. I mean, they got yeah. new brakes. Damn. Maybe you can do it. Yeah. Stuff. You might put them on. Yeah. But, you know, since it, it since it, um. No. It's the 3-4. three four. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a nice little car. Okay. It's riding good, too. This is the one I was in the Malibu. Mm -hmm. uh, the Buick. Mm -hmm. The Buick had the three one, though, but, you know, same. Oh, no, I'm from that Malibu. I just had two. Yeah. Oh, okay. You already had a three four. Sure yeah. did. Y'all remember the Malibu? Y'all don't remember? Make sure y'all check that video out, man. But check out the Audi, though. Look what, ha what happened right here. She did that. Who got a truck? Oh, she had a truck too? Yeah. She got an uh, Infinity truck. Oh, she did? I didn't know that. She, she cleaned this? I don't remember. She cleaned this too? Huh? No, she didn't clean this one. Oh, this one looked good in the inside. I thought you well, said it was my son. kind of kept up. I just vacuumed it out. Oh, okay, okay. You know, I thought you said it was my dad and Joy's old whip. So yeah. It was already, for the most part, clean. She just didn't really take care of it. Yeah. So. It's running and everything, though. It's running, man, but she needs some work, man. Yeah. Right. We'll see what happens. I don't know if I'm fixing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm supposed to like this for now and see what kind of offers I get. Yeah. It's something crazy or not. It's a series and I might just be stuck with it and have to just fix it when I get to it. Yeah. You know? So you still got the van. What you going to do with the van? The van needs some work, man. The van needs some work. Uh, a timing kit on it. Damn. Yeah. Freaking uh, uh, lifters. Cam adjusters. Damn, for real? Yeah, and these cam adjusters on there. So How you figure that out? Cause it's this common on these vehicles, and it's like it runs good, everything's good. Uh, it just has a mount, no miss, no in check engine light. It's like a mechanical failure. Oh, and honestly, okay. it's just uh, it's probably got some cheap ones on there. Cause what it is doing is like it's it's coming apart. The, the cam adjuster itself, so it feels in time and it's running, but. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's got some crazy on the chain. So you got the other truck, you got your truck, and you got the Buick. What's going on with the Buick? I know you said you had to get the Buick from something. The yeah. Buick. I didn't even see the Buick. Let me go back there and look at it. Cause I, you should have saw it. Not, before it. You should have saw it when I first got it, man. That junk looked. I ain't even seen the now Buick. She really, she really transformed this car. This was the most impressive to me. For real? This car looked like it was really built to drive. She brought the thing all the way back to life. Damn. So she got all the stuff in the uh, van or what? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, she ain't got it in there now, but that's what she's gonna plan on putting it up when she take it off. 
But yeah, man, the uh, shit, I bet you wish you had the four by four when it comes to the mud, huh? No, man, I got stuck <laughs> out here. Right, that's why I said, like, man, it's about time I might have to upgrade because it's getting stuck in my daggone backyard. Damn, right? yeah, getting stuck in the backyard. Bro. I'll see it though. Big Max. What do you call him, Max? Oh, yeah, it's because it was raining the past two days ago. Let's see what we got. Is it unlocked? Yeah. Okay. Does this run? Yeah. Damn, man. you did this? Yeah, I did that. Okay. A little old school Buick, man. 167 on the miles. What year is this? This is a 94. 94. This don't need no emissions. You don't. And you said this one was dirty. It was filthy, bro. Damn, I wish you, you got some pictures of it. I, sh I might. I Shit. I got videos of it, though. Yeah, let me see that, man. Had to get, yeah, had to bro. get old. Like, this car here, man. I just gotta, we had to get old. Out, but... Had to get old girl some business, man. Well, good. Yeah, I know. She, she about to be busy, bro. So yeah, I'm just trying to get her going. Oh, this one got the 38. Yeah, it might ride good. She man. cleaned the motor too. Mm-hmm. Damn, okay. It do look clean too, don't it? Mm. Y'all let me know in the comments below. This joint looking super clean. It is looking clean though. For real. Yeah, bro, so but this ain't ready for sale right now. Not right now, not yet. Okay. We'll be ready soon. I'm waiting for parts to get here before it's Tuesday. Okay. But yeah, man, y'all see Big Max, man. Yeah, need to a bath, That's gonna man. be the cleaning van. And yeah, man. It sure has been rain. You can see where you got stuck at too. <laughs> yeah, no fun. But we got it unstuck. How'd you get it unstuck? Um, Ingenuity, some MacGyver and dog. We just was putting stuff together, putting boards. Metal. Sure. Damn. Uh, it was it wasn't get, getting traction, man. I don't know. Damn. I would think, you know, well, I guess all the mud got caught up in the uh, in, tread. Yeah, so in the tread. Yeah, I can see it. Just start getting slick. Yeah, you can see it. But all right, man. I'm going to wrap this video up, man. I got to go get this title for this car. Yeah. I got to go uh, get my mama and all that before they close this gate. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be a wrap. Y'all make sure y'all follow my boy Bruce on the gram and on YouTube at Phantom Mobiles, man. He's going to be it. uploading them videos, man. Get but I'm going to go and leave you over here. I'm going to go and let you get on the work, man. Shout out to the whole <laughs> Hustle Nation. Make sure y'all like the video, comment. Y'all comment if y'all think I should change these brakes. Probably not. Y'all can comment. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Y'all probably say, yeah, go on and change it, Big Play Ray, because they already in the car. But, but you know, this car ain't going to even pass emissions. So it's like, I don't know, man. I'm probably not going to change it. To be honest with y'all, I'm probably just going to post it. And I got to wait till the check engine light on, come back on, so I can actually show the customer, like, why the check engine light is on, because right now it's not on, because I cleared the code. But shout out to y'all, man. Appreciate y'all, man. If y'all want to learn how to do this, make sure y'all go to whdacademy.com. I don't know what you, you weren't going on your whdacademy.com with, with that van. Oh, no, that one was, uh, I knew something was wrong with it. Oh, you did? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you just wanted to fix that boy. Okay. Man, you should have kept that other van, man. Why? It was the better van, I thought. This one's got half the miles on it. I know, but look what you gotta what you gotta do, tear the motor apart or but something? Once I do that, that van gonna be good, bruh. I feel you. That van gonna be good. Yeah, one one fifty seven on the miles. Man. I showed y'all this van too. Make sure y'all check that video out because I already showed y'all this van. But yeah, man, whdacademy.com. Y'all want to learn how to check out cars and pick out cars. Don't put no money in the car. I'm not yeah. about to put no money into this car. I'm about to just unless, flip unless this car. Unless you decide you want to. Yeah, unless you decide you want to. Exactly. You know, everybody going to do the business different. I keep telling y'all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the name of the game. But shout out to y'all, man. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. We hustle daily .co. I got to get on out of here so I can go get this car. It's your boy Ray. Big play Ray. It's your boy Bruce. We yeah. gone. Peace.